it's time to play a game of deception called True Confessions. My first opponent tonight is a multi-talented actor, writer, and comedian whose new HBO Max special, Marlon Wayans Presents The Headliners, premieres tomorrow. Please welcome Marlon Wayans. Wow. Wow. This is kind of... Wow! I'm, yes. gonna, I'm gonna win this one. You just came right in with a magnet brought you in. That, you that's right, because I'm, I'm here for business. I'm winning this one. I've been on this show 17 times. I haven't won nothing. This is rigged. <laughs> Marlon and I will be facing off against an amazing actress who's currently starring in season two of Russian Doll, which is streaming now on Netflix. Please welcome Natasha Leone! <laughs> Natasha Leone! Oh, it's so good to see you. Bro. You too. You look great. Now, now here's, here's how this works. In front of each of us are two envelopes containing confessions. One is true, the other is a lie. Uh, once you read your confession, the other two players get to interrogate you. Then we have to come to a unanimous decision. Is it the truth or is it a lie? Marlon, mm -hmm. you'll go first. Which envelope should Marlon open? One or two? Sir? Yeah, what do you think? I, think... I get to choose? No. Well, I think we'll choose, right? Uh, you see, it's already rigged. <laughs> wow. I think... Hey, what do you guys think? What's the audience saying? One? Two. Everyone's saying two. Okay. Okay. So crazy, you think you're gonna win. Yeah, it's in interesting. Yeah. Right? I'm gonna win. Oh. I once told Tupac that he had eyes like Snuffleupagus. <laughs> There's no way, man. There's no There's way. There's no way that he could do it. What, what year was it? <laughs> oh, uh, this is in the 90s. Yeah. I remember we had baggy pants on, and uh, where, where, he was still rhyming like, hey, B, see me. Yeah. <laughs> where, 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 where were you guys? Um, we was, where were we? Yeah, you, where we you was were with Tupac. We were at Glam Salam in um, Los Angeles. That was Prince's old club. <laughs> I don't know, Glam man. Glam Salam? Glam Slam. Oh, Glam Slam. Yeah. Was it like a tennis thing? Like a, yeah. with also glamour? Yeah. Glam Slam? No, Glam Slam. You know, Prince, he like uh, Glam. He, yeah, Glam, yeah. and he likes Slam. Right, oh, no, I so understand. So you were at Glam Slam at so it's like a club, yeah. and you're sitting next to Tupac. Yeah, we was, me, him, um, and Biggie. I gotta put my glasses on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your glasses on this way. This is Wait, so you, suspicious. Tupac, and Biggie were sitting together, and you lean over to Tupac, and you go, your eyes look like Snuffleupagus. How long are y'all gonna ask me questions? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I, I, I told him. He and had... what was his reaction? I, I'm so sorry, I have yeah, a follow-up question. Yeah, uh, sorry. He what does have... that mean when someone's eyes look like Snuffleupagus? This is what the card said. So <laughs> I, I think because he had very long eyelashes. Oh, I see. Like, Mr. Snuffleupagus. Oh, he right, does right, have And he also had really soft hands, and I, I, I called him the Palmolive Thug. Uh, uh -huh. Did he go crazy? Did he freak out, or was he left? And what was Biggie doing this whole time? Biggie was just, <laughs> it was all, <laughs> he was just breathing. <laughs> I don't know, because I, Marlon, he, I've yeah. seen him uh, in action. He's a very popular guy, very charming. Oh, he is. And I could He's see a him, wonder. I could see him go to parties, and I could see him actually saying to Tupac, that and making and getting away with it. Yeah, and getting yeah. a laugh. Yeah, yeah. Stuff with the laugh against like eyelashes, but and yet is a lie. I think it's definitely the truth. No, I'm just kidding. It's, I think a, it's a lie. lie. It's a we lie. think it's a lie. I got you, Jimmy. It's the truth. What? what? No way. What? What? No way. No all, all of that. Way. I did. Tupac and I did above the rim together. I went to see Tupac and Biggie perform at Glam Slam. We was all sitting around cracking jokes, and I told him he had eyes like Mr. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> oh, my his God. eyelashes are so long. Yes. So. That is a great story. Yeah. You've got us. Marlon Wayans, Marlon, congratulations. Marlon. That's Marlon. the way to do it. I won. No one ever, first Henry, time ever won. Dad. No one ever wins. Do I get a prize? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What do I get? Brand new whole ashtray. Yeah, you get the whole ashtray of fake yes. cigarettes so. burning. Uh, all right. Wow. It is my turn. Uh, which envelope should I open? One, 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 baby, one, baby. Okay. One. Uh, on Monday, I was at the White House and I helped the president tie his tie. Mmm. Poof. <laughs> Bite an old. He need a little help with that yeah. tie, so. Uh... All right, my first question is when was Monday? And that's what's <laughs> tripping me up here. 
<laughs> That's my, your first question. My first it, it, Monday today, was this week. Today yeah. is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. So this, let's start at the beginning. What time on Monday was this? I was there for the Easter egg roll. I went with my uh, wife and kids. We went and I read a book and I, I didn't even know if I was going to meet the president. Right. Then I met him and I, yeah, and then I, uh, I tied his tie. Was he not wearing a tie? Why were you in his dressing quarters? <laughs> well, I wasn't in his dressing quarters. I was actually in the blue room. Uh, and you have to go through the green room to get to the blue room to get a photo with what the happens? president. That's where the president works. Lady. Blue. What do, you, what do you smell like? What do you smell like? <laughs> was it cologne? Old, was it Old Spice? Ventures? <laughs> Old Spice. Okay. No, no, no. He smelled great. Coffee uh, breath. He was there with no coffee breath. He was there with the first lady, and I walked up. I was kind of nervous. I brought. I was there with my kids. He made a joke to my kids. Uh, he said, like, I don't know who your dad is or something like that. You know, it was funny. And then uh, he stood up, and the first lady said. Jimmy's uh, Jimmy's tie looks great. He always has nice ties on the show, and I go, "That's because I," I go, "Thank you. That's because I have a, I know how to tie a knot. I know how to tie a good knot." And he goes, uh, "What's the secret or something like that?" And I go, "I can tie yours." What kind of tie what, did you give him? What a kind of a tie? Knot, a, a double yeah. Windsor. What kind of tie? Did it's you like tie? a it's a it's a flip over. I don't know. They how many times did you name. flip it? It's a two flip. It's a two flip and then a push through and a yank. <laughs> No, I gave a nice tie and it worked, and he I, I couldn't believe no one was stopping me, because I knew I, you don't really see Secret Service, so they're kind of hiding. But no one stopped me. No one even said, "Don't do that." He's the one that loosened it and took it all down. And I'm like, I'm gonna do this, and I did. I tied Have the you... president's tie, and then he went out and spoke to America. I mean, I don't not believe it is the trouble here. I just he's Jimmy. He's gonna. If he wants, I would let him if I was the president. If I wasn't the president, now if it was Obama's time, I'm like, nah, nah, no, get no, up no. on me. I know how to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Biden, he may take the help. I'm, At I'm the gonna same say it's time, real. I'm gonna say it's true. I think it's, I think it's true. Oh, it's gonna be a lie. I got you. It's a lie. Ah! <laughs> I just made it up. I didn't know what the story to tell. Wow. Uh, they wouldn't let me touch the president wow. of the Why United not? States. I wow. didn't know. The Secret wow. Service barely let me. Were you even me... there at all? No, I wasn't. Why? No, I was, there, I was there. I was there. I was there. I was at the White House. Somewhere. But I just figured it'd be some yeah. type of story that would happen to me. Yeah. Well, you were a good liar. All right, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. Natasha, it is now your turn. Thank you. Go for it. Which, Which one? I think number one. Number one. All right, all I mean, right. I know it's season two of Russian Doll, but number one. Come on. The first time I ever flew on a plane, Marlon Brando, my close personal friend, we worked together with on yes. Scary Movie 2, was in first class, and he brought with him an entire birthday cake to eat on the plane. Did he share the cake? He initially did not want to. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Brando's birthday is April 3rd. I'm April 4th. So, uh, you know, we would stay in touch, and he would... Uh, Anyway, I, I asked too him much, for a Too sense. many details already. I feel like you're getting a little nervous and you're starting yeah. to give us too much details. We didn't ask what birthday it was. I just wanted you to know that we have a similar birthday. Where were you guys on your way to? Oh, yeah, good. He was on his way back from Australia because of the Island of Dogs are a row. I only laughed because it's your mind? favorite movie. Yeah, I do like that movie. You love that Filmer. movie. You're always texting. I always say, I love that. Island of Dr. Moreau. Yeah, yeah, out of all Moreau. the Marlon Brando. That's your that favorite. Superman are my two and favorites. And I always say, what about Apocalypse Now? And you always say, it's about it. Moreau, baby. Yeah, it's about Moreau, baby. So yeah. he, you said he's flying back from Australia. And you're, what, how are you? You greeted him in the plane on your birthday? I like flying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow, I, I think I, this is this off is the rail. Cool. The only the question is, is, Nat is Natasha Leone playing us right now and purposely saying this? Guys, I just, Marlon, I want you to look at me, Wait, all right? Marlon and Brando. Okay, I'm just my Marlon okay. instinct. Okay, I knew Brando, too. You, we knew Brando. Yes. I have those daily. Yeah, but see, did he you, talk like, did he you talk, know, did he talk like you this? You knew him, y'all met on the set. We, no, that, wait, wait, did, did, did we? Wait, How did you see him in first class? Were you in first class as well? No. Oh, you don't think I travel first class? No, you do. Of course. Then. Of course Not you do. Not back then. Oh. Not back then. In 96, during the filming of the <laughs> island of Dr. Moreau. Oh, OK. Well, maybe. Ooh. Was you Wow. Wasn't I? You just look so young. Thank you. Wait, so he got you said, wow. hey, Marlon, good to see you. And he goes, uh, it's my birthday. It's our birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like some cake? Or you go, he goes, I don't want to share cake. All right, fine. You know why it's weird? I wanted to sell you on the fact that he gave me cake, but you know it's Brando. He likes a snack, and uh, no, I didn't get any cake. 
So you already tell a half a lie. You said he gave you some cake. Okay, whatever, but that's not what's written here. I was I was trying to make it First seem class, like you're. He brought me. a whole entire birthday cake yeah. with him on the flight. I'm gonna say, I don't know, man. Honestly, I think that's too obscure not to be it's real. True, right? It's gotta it be true. It has to be real. I think it's true. Did it happen? To me? Yes. <laughs> no way, baby. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, uh, uh. Come on! Come on! That is a pro! That is a pro right there. That's a good one right there. The only non-liar, Marlon Wayans, everybody. Yeah. Natasha Leone. Hey, hey.